This is the ViewSonic XG2530. It's a 240Hz FreeSync 1080p gaming monitor. I'm going to take a look at it, so do stick around. So first things first, a quick tour of the monitor. Of course, it is a 25-inch monitor, very similar to basically all of the other 240Hz monitors, which I believe means it uses basically the same panel as the rest of them. Of course, this one does have FreeSync, so you do have a full range of display inputs, including uh, HDMI and DisplayPort. Uh, and you also have a USB hub on there as well which is quite nice to see. Just below the IO you will find on sort of center bottom of the monitor all of the display uh, you know menu system inputs or buttons um, and these are fairly decent enough they're a little bit squishy they're also quite difficult to actually get the monitor to turn on initially as I think the display input was set to one of the HDMI ports and until I connected a device to the HDMI ports and then manually switched it to display port it just kind of didn't work so I was a bit of a pain but the menu system itself is decent enough it has a few options including some game mode settings uh, as well as customization options too so that's quite nice to see monitor does have height adjust as well as tilt swivel and rotation so you can rotate it 90 degrees to be a uh, you know portrait mode monitor if you fancy which is quite nice to see especially on what is a relatively high-end monitor and on the back side you have a headphone hanger this is ridiculously hard to get out though so you may need to use a screwdriver to leverage it out but otherwise it is still a specific was nice to have it. So moving on to usage for the monitor, the actual display is pretty decent, especially on viewing angles side to side. I was actually really impressed with these, and the overall color accuracy, at least to the eye anyway, is decent, although it's probably not uh, quite as good as some of the more color calibrated IPS monitors, but of course it is a 240Hz display, so definitely more aimed at gamers. Viewing angles from the top were pretty decent, but viewing angles on the bottom were pretty horrendous, so make sure if you are using the monitor that you're sitting fairly square on at least height wise to it so that you get the best experience possible. When it comes to gaming on the monitor I was pretty impressed with it. Of course I'm not a professional CSGO player so as you can tell by the fact that I keep dying in the footage it's uh, you know it's not a game that I'm necessarily even mildly good at which means that I'm not necessarily the perfect person to be testing this monitor but especially again on the more pro side of things this is a really impressive monitor and especially if you are now running a Vega 56 and Vega 64, this is a nice option. Comparing my experience with this monitor to the other 240 Hz monitors, including the AOC FZ model, which is also a FreeSync 25 inch monitor, I think for me this one is still very nice. I think they're all very, very similar as I believe they're using the same panel. So I think it really comes down to the overall styling and price, generally speaking. Um, the actual, you know, overall styling and especially the monitor stand for this one is very nice. A lot of adjustability, nice solid solid base and decent enough styling too. The menu system is a bit of a pain to use and I'd like to see a few revisions to that just to make it a little bit more user friendly but otherwise it is still a really nice monitor. As I've said in plenty of other videos though I don't know that this monitor or 240 hours in general is necessarily something that the general population will benefit too much from. If you are using a Vega 56 or Vega 64 especially in games like CSGO you'll likely be seeing uh, the high enough frame rates to see value from this monitor but when you're looking at um, more sort of AAA titles like GTA 5 or uh, I suppose not so AAA uh, player known battlegrounds, you're not going to be seeing high enough frame rates to really see a benefit from this over a standard 144Hz monitor. But with that said though, let's take a look at the scoring. So for me, this is going to be a 4 for 5 for money. I think it has to be a 5 for performance with a 4 for functionality. Styling is going to be a 4 and Tetum GB score is going to be, I think, a 4.5 and a gold award. It's an impressive monitor, especially for the pro and high-end uh, categories and it comes in at a better price point than some of the other 240 hertz monitors but that's likely just due to its free sync capabilities as opposed to g-sync which does seem to add a pretty high premium so i think that kind of uh, kind of balances itself out a bit now viewsonic and myself are actually teaming up to give this specific monitor away so if you're in i believe it's just the uk i'm afraid then you can actually win this 240 hertz monitor there'll be a link in the description down below that you can check out and enter the giveaway um, and i think you have about two weeks to do that as of uh, the, the launch of this video so make sure that you hit that link down below and check it out. Otherwise if you want to know any more about the monitor or you're thinking about buying one of these then feel free to take a look at the links in the
the description down below as there'll be one down there for the specific this specific monitor and you can check out the pricing when and when you watch this otherwise there'll be plenty of other links down below if you want to support the channel and help me keep doing giveaways like this uh, and all that sort of stuff so if you want to support me on patreon that there's a link down there as well as just non-direct monetary benefits including amazon and overclock UK affiliate links there is obviously the subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel and of course feel free to check out some other videos that are over here and otherwise uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video hope uh, you know good luck in the giveaway and we'll see you all in the next one